I'm steered, man. All I know is that in the United States, you got 20,000 coffee shops that are going to hate you. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> and it's incredible. I mean, you got the just won the world's record for the fastest brewed coffee, right? <laughs> and, but it's, so this is a machine that you invented where you roast your coffee, grind your sh coffee, make a, uh, the best coffee of the world right in your kitchen. Right, so absolutely, you roast, grind, brew, all at a single push of a button. <laughs> Bobby, are you just basically lazy, or, or why? Why'd you come up with this? You wanted to solve one. You really want to know where that comes from? Yeah. Well, two points to it. The one is that the coffee is much fresher. Obviously, it's the freshest coffee in the uh -huh. world. We even got the Guinness World Record for it. Um, the second thing is that it's not only the freshest coffee that doesn't give you any stomach hurt because it's so mildly I fresh. See. But it's also, it's also, if you want much fairer coffee and a cheaper coffee at the same time. So uh -huh. you really make a bargain and still uh, get pay more money to the farmer where, you know, the value derives from. So, I mean, you're right. I mean, what, what uh, it seems amazing. So the farmer now, we could buy beans right from the farmer, not these 1,500 middlemen and roasters and everything else. Oh, yeah. And the farmer's getting nothing. And now we're getting the beans, doing it all ourselves, and the farmer can make more money. So we can, you're, you're going to develop this whole world a lot faster, aren't you? <laughs> uh, absolutely. We really want to change the industry. So what yeah. we're doing is we're setting up a platform, a marketplace for farmers, some kind of a, I a, see. a Amazon for green beans or a Facebook for farmers. And we even oh. have a domain for that. And the, the Facebook is suing us for Ah, <laughs> Now you know you're doing something right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what we're doing is we're setting up that platform where farmers become faces because consumers can first time in the world yeah. in the history of coffee buy their coffee from the farmers it's like wine i mean you yeah. know you're sitting in that restaurant with your girlfriend and you're going all pretentious about the right. wine the bordeaux and the sauvignon blanc and yeah. the things around <laughs> it and then you call up the vineyard and you decide for the next order what you want to place around the, the great wine you really like well you don't do that for coffee you just walk into a coffee shop yeah. and say i want to have a lot I want to have a yeah. coffee, whatever, because nobody's offering you the face behind coffee, and that's not right. We should change yeah. this because the farmers really make yeah. a difference. Right, and that's it. And, and that's right. To me, what you're doing is honoring the source. You know, not not all the middlemen. You know, have their you know hands in the pie. The real source of this and the source of the flavor, the you know the enjoyment of, of having coffee. And I didn't realize that by starting with green beans, you get a rid of a lot of the acidity that happens. Yes, absolutely. The, the fact actually is when you're looking at pre-roasted coffee, the way yeah. we drink it nowadays all the time, um, it's. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad to have pre-roasted coffee. It's totally yeah. fine. The thing is, when you buy standard coffee in the supermarket, the ones where you think you're really saving money on it, right. well, it's been sitting there for months I see. Not years huh. it's been roasted six or seven or eight months before you wow. buy it supermarket counter and wow. then they tell you to consume it in six weeks <laughs> <laughs> well that's right that's so you can buy more that's, <laughs> that's true, true. Yeah. And, and but also i mean you've been incredibly successful for raising money on the internet for this I mean, you went on Kickstarter hoping to get like 130,000, right? And what, you made 130,000 in 12 hours? That was incredible. Seriously, uh, honestly, that was really heavy. I mean, we started off with a Kickstarter campaign and we prepared so many marketing campaigns and I emails and, <laughs> you know, call friends. We even arranged yeah. for friends to call other friends and those friends to call further friends I, and stuff like that. In the end, we didn't even get to kick that off because <laughs> we hit the button and got our project live on Kickstarter. It was sold out. <laughs> I the, 12, the first 12 hours, I I was looking at this and just couldn't believe what was going on. Well, you even got on a plane and left town. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're up to $360,000. I mean, you could do a half a million before this thing is over, right? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not saying what we're really yeah. um, aiming at because we've, we've been aiming at the uh, 135 and now that it's more, we're really, really happy because we're going to spend that money to enhance the machine right. to make it work properly and do all the 
testing needed and to set up a decent platform for mm -hmm. the farmers and uh, list a lot of farmers that we really want to sell their coffee to the people. But again, I mean, we're building a machine and people tend to forget that building a machine carries a lot of risks yeah. and a lot of challenges. And to tackle those challenges and risks, we really need the people behind us mm -hmm. to... Um, tell not only us but also all the partners we all our suppliers all our you know the people that we're working with that there is a demand for that kind oh. of machine in the market wow and who else could, could could tell those partners and yes. suppliers that there's a demand if it's not the consumer well honestly you have a couple of, you know when we're taping this you have a couple like almost three more weeks left on Kickstarter, so people can really get this at a hell of a bargain price because you know it's going to be in stores <laughs> in a few months at a heck of a lot higher price, maybe even 50% more than what it is now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, seriously, when we bring that to the market and have to pay all the retails yeah. in the middle and have to, you know, set up online sales and whatever, we surely uh, will have to raise the price. Also, because at the moment, we're selling to very, very early innovators out there. Yes. All the people on Kickstarter that are really geeky and tacky about coffee and machines and the <laughs> concept and the fair trade and stuff. So, um we have to give them a special price and uh, later on we will have to sell it for the real price that it actually right costs. yeah but i mean kickstarter doesn't require a, an id card anybody can go on kickstarter <laughs> oh, yeah, <that's> true. <laughs> and, and get this now but that's a trouble you, you got over a thousand machines or whatever backers on this already yeah thirty six hundred dollars to you know, launch your business you obviously spent a lot of time trying to figure this out in the last year or two but now to make this thing and to make a reality, to bring it to stores, to bring it to the rest of us. So I and my kitchen table could have beans, you know, right from the farmer and start roasting and having a cup of coffee in the morning, right from the farm. Sure, that's what we're, that's what we're looking at, it, absolutely. Yeah. You, know what? you can even save tax on that. Save tax? Why? Well, you know, when you're looking at the prices, I mean, uh, from every dollar spent on coffee uh, by a consumer there's yeah. how much how much do you think ends up at the at the farmer it's like five six seven cents yeah. so um that's not a lot so we're going to give a lot more to the farmer by right. the dollar but we're also cutting out every intermediate so right. there's not only uh, all the intermediate cut out so that we don't have to pay their taxes right. and to pay Ooh, their uh, you know right. their margin and everything there's also a couple of countries in the world and there's actually five couple of five countries in the world um that have a special coffee tax which oh. does not apply to green coffee and this is kind of the kind of the thing where we're coming from in germany i mean in germany it's it's a it's a coffee tax that's almost 30 percent it's two euro 19 per kilogram really that's a lot of money on roasted coffee wow now, guess what when you buy our green coffee there's no tax wow i had no idea <laughs> we would just have normal sales tax. so you're selling in countries like germany you have a 30 percent tax on roasted beans Wow, that's enough. That is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, no wonder you got motivated to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of my background as well. You know, I, I, I've done a lot of tax law before, so. Well, wonderful. Well, Hans, this is a wonderful idea. And you're a smart guy to put this all together and to make it happen and to be so successful in short, so short a time, particularly on the internet. And good luck to you. And you're going to be in all our you know uh kitchens like i am now you i'll have one of your coffee pots in our kitchen soon and and starbucks is gonna hate you but what the heck <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be all right yeah i'm sure they will too <laughs> thank you so much thank you